Accu with the Dakota Meteorologist here in Mark City. It is uh, Tuesday morning, and here comes our uh, big daddy of a storm. And uh, we try to get to the details here. What's going to happen? There's going to be some issues uh, in terms of uh, precipitation type, I think, and uh, obviously uh, snowfall. Where we think it's going to be heavy, it's going to be heavy. And I do have the, the hat on today, so this is interesting. Twice, twice this winter, I had to bring the hat out and the sweatshirt. I didn't bring the sweatshirt today. All right, here you go. First of all, our storm is uh, sitting right out here, uh, kind of a, two pieces, one up here, one down here. And uh, we got the snow falling through the Midwest there. Chicago's getting the snow. Chicago's going to be bombarded by snow today and wind. It's going to be a horrible day out there and all the way down into Indianapolis and eventually Ohio as well with the snow and the wind blowing and all that kind of stuff happening. And we also got some uh, heavy thunderstorms developing down here across um, parts of northern Mississippi and Alabama uh, this morning that will head over toward uh, Atlanta, Georgia today and foul up things down there as well. Okay, so we got that going for us and tomorrow the upper level low by tomorrow evening is going to be off the coast and uh, kind of sitting out here for a little bit as um, kind of a big widening storm. Now there's a couple problems we'll talk about this storm here in a second. Uh, first of all, again, the severe weather down here today, some hailstorms and uh, strong winds going on uh, across the southeast uh, this afternoon. And Atlanta, Georgia, obviously, is going to be affected by it. And uh, radar-wise, you see the thunderstorms down here uh, across northern Mississippi, Georgia, and then we got the snow back up into Chicago, and all this is heading down this way. And the winds are going to pick up behind it, so you get a wind-blown snow. Some people out there are going to say, it looks like a blizzard outside there, Henry. I guarantee you that. If you're in Indianapolis and Fort Wayne, up into Chicago, all these places out here, it's going to have a windblown snow event coming up later today and tonight. Now, let's look at some problems here, okay? I'm just I'm waiting on my NAM model to come in. And, um, oh, there it goes. All right, so I got that in. So I just looked at that. So, first of all, we'll do the GFS here. European GFS, NAM, they're all pretty much in cahoots with each other on the storm, so it doesn't really matter which model you pick. They're all kind of saying the same thing now. So by this evening, the storm's down here. This is a windblown snowstorm back in here, and uh, it's going to be snowing all the way down in Tennessee. Nashville will get some snow out of this, and snowing all the way down into uh, Kentucky. And then by um, tomorrow morning, the storm now is jumping the mountains over to here. And it starts to intensify, but the problem is it's not going to like really bomb out. I thought this thing would be a 990 millibar low down in this area here, but instead uh, we're going to get ourselves a um, 992 low. But notice one thing here. All right, well, let me go back up a sec. By tomorrow morning, it's snowing west of Baltimore, Washington. It's heavy snow back here in the mountains of West Virginia, back into western parts of Virginia, north of the Shenandoah Valley, back toward Martinsburg uh, and Hager, uh, Cumberland. Maryland, uh, Martinsburg, that whole area back there, heavy snow. D.C. is probably raining at this point, and it's still snowing, and windblown snow back here across the High Valley. Then it starts to intensify, but notice it's not like this, this small storm that's really, really intensifying. It's a broad, low pressure here, because at this point, it's stacking up with the upper level low already. And so you're not getting the intensification, you're not getting the thunderstorms into the storm. There's, there's things that aren't going very well for a big storm. If you want big snowstorms, you got to have the thunderstorms going, you got to have the cooling going, you got to have all this stuff going, and it's just not happening. So what happens is you get this kind of a broad storm, the precipitation starts to spread out away from the center, and um, then you get the snow breaking out from New York City all the way, uh, all the way up into uh, New England by the time we get to Thursday morning. And they get a decent snowstorm up here, three to six inches, some people get eight or nine. Okay, now here's the problems we have. This is a precipitation type. By this evening, you got rain down here, the snow is all the way down into the high valley, coming in behind the storm underneath the upper level low. And uh, by tomorrow morning, it's raining in uh, Philadelphia, DC, Baltimore, heavy snow back in this area, still snowing back in the high valley. Then we get later on in the evening, all right, it's still got the precipitation type as rain from New York City to, to uh, DC. And this is what I'm worried about. Is that it's that the, the you're, you can smell the snowflakes, you can see the snowflakes, but you just can't get them into the city. You know, you get the dullest back into um, these areas back here. It's heavy snow, and then you get a foot of snow back here. 
I, you know, I thought they get eight inches here. I'm going to still kind of stay around the eight inch, but I'm like four to eight inches. I like the four over the eight down in uh, DC now. I, I think the rain is going to, you know, once again, the rain's going to cause problems. Even up into Philadelphia, I think it'll get rain up in there. I still think my sister out here in Chester County is going to get bombarded. And then it's snow in New York City. You'll get your three to six inches, probably more on the six inch side than anything. And uh, heavy snow from New York City up into New England by the time we get to Thursday morning, and then it wraps itself up by uh, Friday and f Thursday night up here across uh, the Northeast. So five minutes and 29 seconds. That's a lot to talk about this storm. So I hope you got the idea of the snow map on there. I'll be tweeting out all my little thoughts and all that kind of stuff. All right, good snowstorm, guys. And then after that, we're done. Spring's coming in. Well, not really spring, but we're done with winter for the most part. Except out in Chicago and those areas, you'll get some more snow. I'm Maggie with a dot com meteorologist, Henry Mark.